Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I officially start working on my landing and I am so excited for this reclaim wall to come together. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay you guys, so here is the stick one. It has a gray wash. It's really, really nice. If you look over in the back, it has three paneling of tape. All you would do is just remove the tape, like the, the covering, and you would stick this on your wall like so, and then that's it, okay? So I love the natural element in the wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started applying it, and hopefully everything turns out good. I don't know, it's the first time doing it, so wish me luck. So I've, I've taken off the first strip and I've taken off the second. Now I've seen different videos where everybody does it differently. I'm going to do it the way Stickwood actually did it, which was to remove it like this and to bend this back and then apply it on the wall. And once you have it secured, then pull this off. But I've seen everybody do it differently. I'm, I'm going to follow Stickwood. this piece is bigger than what I want it to be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure Mom, it out go get a drink. like this Mom, can I go get a drink? yeah so I'm gonna Whoa. take a pencil I'm gonna mark it here and then I'm gonna use a jigsaw to cut it so I'm gonna go ahead and take the measurements and I'll be right back okay you guys so here's the mark that I made I'm gonna take my level and I'm going to put it here, make sure everything is leveled out. So when you level it, you wanna make sure that that little ball is right in the center. And it is right now. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna run it all the way across. Okay. And there goes my line. And now, I'm gonna take the jigsaw and get to work. And there you have it. It is caught. All right, back to work. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the jigsaw end and put it against the wall so you can't see the cut. And there you have it. Perfect. Look at that. Oh. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the entire wall, okay? you guys so this is day one and I've done a good job I ended up having to use the miter saw let me just show you guys really quickly so around the window I ended up having to use the miter saw I think I did a pretty good job I'm gonna end up caulking here and adding a little bit of color so you can't see it I did mess up right here and I have to take the piece down just to show you this is not temporary this is a very permanent um, design and then I used the handsaw again right here. I'm gonna caulk, I'm gonna add a small trim, but this is just day one. And I think it is coming together quite nicely. I'm gonna take a break and I'll be starting the project again. So I'm currently in my garage and let me just say that, ah! 
So the instructions did not call for a miter saw. So what I'm realizing is using the miter saw is giving me a nice clean cut. So um, it's not fraying off the wood. When I say fraying, like it's not doing this to the wood. Do you see that? It's not damaging it. So I am going to use the miter saw. And let me just say this. I've never felt so good being a woman until today now that I'm using like this big old, this big old burly machine. This big old machine. Is a sweet one. So here's the piece right here. I'm going to go ahead and just clean it up really nicely. So do you see the difference? This cut right here was made with the the hand, I think it's called a jigsaw, I don't know. It's the jigsaw, which left it like this, and this is with the miter saw. But like I said, if you don't have a miter saw, I would just say really, really take your time into creating this, okay? So this part of the wall right here in the corner is what I've been cutting these pieces for. So I'm gonna go ahead and start installing it really quickly. Hopefully you guys can say, I really hope you guys like the wall and like the wood. It's so pretty. Because the window's right there, I really can't show you the true color of the wood. But let me see. I'm gonna try this so I can show you guys. Oh, this is the color right here. This is so pretty. Look at my cut around the window trim. Like, I did a really good job. What I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna purchase like a creamy or even like a gray tone caulking and just kind of caulk around the, um, the wall just to give it a nice finish. Oh, the color is absolutely gorgeous. I am so happy that I went with this color. I am gonna be doing gold accents around with some greenery and all that but at least you guys get to see the real natural color it is so nice and rustic and okay you guys for this project i ended up using a handsaw which i borrowed from my neighbor but this was really really good when it came time to cut around the window you want to have a level i actually have two i have this one and i have the large red one you want to make sure your window is um leveled you want to make sure the wall is level before you even start your project and so the last thing that i'm going to be the last thing that i ended up using is the miter saw again i do have tools in the garage whether you knew it or not i'm quite handy dandy yes i am so literally i have been seeing this in magazines and in books and stuff and the second i saw it, i knew that i love it so i want to say thank you so very much to stickwood for even collabing with me on this project i so so appreciate it you guys check them out i'm gonna leave a link below i'll be back in a week to show you guys the whole entire wall but it's going to be beautiful all right you guys till next time bye